dito papasok naman tayo sa uh, relationships no so given the fact that the concept of yung, yung mole it 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 bridges yung concepts ng elementary particles and measurable quantities papasok naman tayo sa calculation so ito naman para sa mga estudyante ito yung relationship na dapat na iintindihan niyo so for example if you're converting a uh, mass of a substance to the number of particles uh, you would require at least or it would require at least two uh, steps two, two stepwise calculations for you to get there so yung unang una you have to go through the mole so uh, mass to moles for you to be able to do that, you have to divide the mass by the molar mass. So there, kaya ako kanina pinakita sa inyo, yung molar mass dapat naiintindihan nyo yun. When it comes naman to um, the um, mole conversion to the number of particles, you have to multiply it by the Avogadro's number. So eto po, medyo madugo na yung mga susunod na um, slides ko kasi we will dig deep into kung paano ba yung dimensional analysis when it comes to this. So with this, I think will benefit the students a lot. So for example, if we are to uh, convert a uh, given mass to moles, this is the process. So unang una, you divide uh, mass by the molar mass. So ito yun. So mass divided by the molar mass. And so sa mga estudyante, whenever you're doing calculations like this, iset up nyo na yung unit. So si for example, if you're given a mass, dapat nandyan yung gram sa numerator divided by the molar mass, which is grams per mole. And so based on this, dapat automatic na sa inyo, makikita nyo na, oh, uh, when you have this equation, um, you can cancel out yung grams. And then essentially, since nasa denominator ng denominator, yung mole, mapupunta siya sa numerator. So dapat, pag, pag nag-dimensional analysis kayo dito, ang, dapat, ang, ang makukuha nyo is mole, ang final unit. Okay? So, um, this will mean uh, this will be more meaningful if we would solve um, specific problems. So, so for this particular one, so how many moles of water are there in eight grams of ice? So yun yung tanong. Okay, so eight grams. So you're given a mass, and then ice. Ano bang ice? Ice is essentially solid water. So students, you should be able to recognize that trick. I know. So ice is water, solid water. So this is how you should set up your solution. So. Um, Kunin nyo yung, ano, yung guide natin. So to uh, calculate for the mole of water, you have to divide the mass of water by its molar mass. So paano ba makakalculate yung molar mass? You have to add up the weights of all of the components of water. So one molecule of water has what? One oxygen atom which weighs 16 grams per mole. And then you have two oxygen atoms so at one gram per mole. So uh, ang, ang molar mass ng water dito is... 18 grams per mole of water. And so since, since you have already set up your uh, calculation this way, um, you can cancel out the units. Um, and then essentially, yung, in yung, uh, this is division of ng, ng fraction. Ano? So dapat medyo, you, have, you have to brush up on that. And then so what you'll get is essentially an answer that is um, in terms of moles of water. So 8, uh, eight divided by uh, 18 is essentially 0 0.44. All right. Okay ba? All right. So, tip, ito sa mga guro and sa students. Sa mga guro po, pag nagtuturo kayo nito, um it doesn't hurt kung i-remind niyo po ang students ninyo ng uh itong tip na to, to check. So, whenever you're converting mass to moles, yung numerical answer po ninyo sa moles ay dapat mas maliit sa numeric sa, sa given na mass. So, for example, we started with 8 grams. Ang naging sagot natin ay 0. Point uh, 44. So this is a good way of checking, mainly because yung atin po kasing molar mass is always greater than 1. No? So lagi dapat talagang liliit yung number. So baka may mamiloso po sa akin, Sir, paano po pag hydrogen atom? So technically, um, hindi gagana din yung pag may miloso po na yun kasi yung molar mass talaga ng hydrogen is 1.008 grams uh, gra gram per mole. So technically, dapat yung sagot should, should always be a smaller number. So one very important note kapag sa, sa students and teachers, Dapat po, uh, kumbaga automatic na to sa mga estudyante, alam na rin na, ay, pag nag-divide ako ng mass na, uh, by the molar mass at ang number na nakuha ko ay mas malaki kaysa sa given, may mali sa ginawa ko. Alright, very important tip. Okay now, moles uh, to numbers of particles. So ito naman straightforward, no? kasi alam, alam, ay paano po ulit nakuha ang molar mass. So yung molar mass, kasi, so yung molar mass is, um, um nakita ko yung question na no so molar mass so you have a uh, chemical i should have shown it here chemical formula of water which is h2o so you have two 
uh, hydrogen atoms, which would correspond to 2 grams per mole, and then you have uh, oxygen, which is 16 uh, grams per mole. So 16 plus 2 is equal to 18. So yun yung molar mass ng water. All right. So con converting naman moles to number of particles. So dito, straightforward then. You just have to multiply the amount of uh, substance in terms of moles by the Avogadro's number. And that's uh, how you uh, calculate the number of particles. So ito yung formula, moles times Avogadro's number. And if you would set up in terms of units, moles times number of particles per mole. So ito, we can cancel out the units. Dapat yung, end, yung unit ng inyong sagot should be uh, number of particles. So ito again, this will make much more sense if we are to solve certain examples or certain problems. So ito naman question na to, continuation no, una natin ginawa na. So how many water molecules are there in 0 0.44 mole of water? So that's the question. So apply natin yung formula natin. Ano? So mo, mo, amount in moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. So it's 0 0.44 mole of water. And then yung Avogadro's number natin, it's a constant, hindi siya nagbabago. Ano. So it's always 6.02214 times 10 to the 23 molecules of water per mole. We can cancel out the units now. So cancel out the units and then you just multiply yung numbers. And the answer that you would get would be 2.6 times 10 to the 23rd power. So dito nagpa-practice din tayo ng uh, significant figures. Ano. So ito naman, kaparehas nung nauna ko, may tip din dito. So whenever you're converting the amount of number in moles to number of particles, the answer should be way bigger. Dapat sobrang laki. Na, dapat exponential yung sagot. Uh, that's mainly because uh, yung Avogadro's number nyo is a very big number. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Hindi ko nga alam kung ano yung kung paano yung sa trillion or billion. Hindi ko na alam kung anong prefix nun. So the number should be very big. So that's a way to check your answer. Kapag mas maliit sa moles, ang, sa, sa 0.44 yung nakuha nyo, may mali sa inyong calculation. Alright? So papakatandaan nyo lagi yan. So from mass to moles, lumiliit ang number. From moles to number of particles, dapat sobrang lumalaki. Exponential yung sagot. So things to keep in mind, all right?